Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Artifacts96 and welcome back to my channel. Okay, well so, thank you for tuning in again and yeah, we might as well just get into it. So last night or whenever, I posted a little short video, it's actually the first part of this video, so if you have not seen that, I'll put it up in the card up here. Yep, I learned how to do that. Oh, I'm figuring out stuff so fast lately. Anyway, yeah, so just like the last topic, we're going to get back into it, but with just a little bit more detail because I've had a chance to sleep on it <clears throat> to see whatever uh, what other people have had to say about it. And to be honest with you, I have to say, really disappointed in some of y'all and some of y'all's takes. No, I'm not going to name names because these are people who are on YouTube and they're doing quite well on YouTube. And I'm not going to even give them the satisfaction of saying I'm piggybacking, uh, piggybacking off of them. So that's not what this is about. Caramel tea, by the way. But the amount of people that I saw defending Lil Wayne. The amount of misinformation that I saw in those comment sections was absolutely stupid. It was just stupid. There's no other word for it. It was stupid. It was literally fucking stupid. That's on that's the only word I can like say. I'm trying to think of other words to say besides it's effing stupid, but it is. Because the amount of black YouTubers you I have seen who were pinning comments that were the most they were filled with so much misinformation. So much bull crap and calling again. I don't know what this is about like Trump supporters nowadays. They love calling the Black Lives Matter movement a socialist Marxist movement. That's the only thing I saw in the comment section. And instead of a lot of these black YouTubers clocking them about it, they sat there and no, they praised those people for it. So yeah, the title of this video is going to be because of y'all. Lil Wayne's a coon, so is Ice Cube, and y'all asses are co-signing on it. That's going to be the title of this video. So thank you so much for inspiring that. Thank you so much, baby. Yeah. Yeah, and you just, you keep on co-signing for it. I wish I had any other, uh, something to say besides that. But yeah, you are co-signing on it. And let me tell you something. Anytime... You give a platform, no matter how small it is, for people like that, that validates them. That says, well, hey, I must be doing something right, right? Because there's this black person over there. They said that uh, they don't have anything to do with it. And that'll be the only thing that they go on for the rest of the time when they're spreading that crazy misinformation, conspiracy theory, bull crap is that that this YouTuber named blank blank here pretty much gave them a shout out and pinned their comment so everybody could see it. Why would you do that? Just just tell me, why would you do that? Why? And some of you call it information. Let me tell you something. It's not information. It's bull crap. There's either the information is either two things. It's either right or bull crap. There was bull crap. So why would any of you call that good information? Why? I just don't get it. Another thing that I don't get is why y'all yeah, it's just like y'all yeah, hadn't seen what Trump has been doing for four years. Why would he wait now to talk to these guys? Why? Why wait now? Yes, I believe the election might have been like five or uh, what is it now like election probably like five days away. And now he's meeting these guys after four years. Now he decides to meet some uh, uh, some people to quote unquote better the black community. You know what? Yeah, you want to help the uh, black community. Make sure that we have a good vaccine for COVID that will make people grow a third arm. 
But yeah, anyway, you guys, that's it. I just pretty much the second part of this video is just give my personal opinion about the YouTubers that are co-signing this stuff. I think it's absolutely ridiculous because it is going to hurt us in the end. It is only going to hurt us. You thinking that just because you're standing with white supremacy, they will give you a seat at the table? Baby, let me tell you something, sweetie. You are wrong and you are lying to yourself. I don't know what to say other than you're lying to yourself. I don't get it. I really don't like with, with, with some of y'all. I really do not get it at all. Why are you and you're acting like as if that even if he does get reelected, which I hope to God not, that tax break will help you. Most of y'all that send in the comments are co-signing this stuff. That's not going to help you out at all. And I really hope you realize that. <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty much uh, everything I had to say. Anything else you should already know. I mean, if Proud Boys stand back and stand by wasn't enough for some of y'all, Uncle Tom's, I don't know what it is. Hey, maybe one day when I make some a lot of money on YouTube, I'll have a um, mental rehabilitation center for y'all coons out there. <laughs> but anyway, I'll see y'all later. As always, I have been Artifacts96 and... I have nothing to lose but everything to gain.